the issues we face um, in terms of racism uh, have been uh, are at the key cornerstone, unfortunately, of this government's policy. And, and not just this government's policy, if we look across the world, we can see that every state is using racism to try and divide people as a way of maintaining its power and control. Uh, as we go from the financial crisis into a COVID crisis and, and start to come out of that in some way, you can see that they've ramped up the exploitation of workers where the ones pay, paying for the increased cost of living and yet they're using the both in this country uh, attacks on refugees on migrants on the Roma on Muslims as a way of justifying uh, their their policies and of trying to scapegoat minorities for the, the financial difficulties they're placing on the British people and I think we have to say that, that ordinary working class people won't buy that won't, won't be sold that anymore uh, the Black Lives Matter movement showed that black and white people were willing to come out against racial prejudice and that the views of us, the majority of us, that want to live in a society where everyone is respected regardless of their, their religion or their creed or their colour, then, then they're, the, they're the majority within our world. It's just that we're not the ones in power at the moment. And I think to our, our day on, on March 19th is showing that we are the, another superpower. The people across the world have the power to change the world we live in. Uh, not just against racism, against war, against a system that puts uh, profit before people's lives. That, that, that our demonstrations across the world on that day will be a statement to say that we want the world to change. And I think we have to put a message out to people that actually demonstrating makes a huge difference. That actually, we, I mean, even on a small scale, you know, um, George Floyd, killer would not be in prison if people hadn't demonstrated across the world for justice and we need to renew that that uh, call if we want to see true justice across the world for, for people of, that are oppressed and for the for the their needs to be put before for military conquest or power or anything else I mean it, it really is crocodile tears for the government to claim that they are in solidarity with the Ukrainian people and they're not letting them into our country and refuse them at the border. Uh, I suppose it's consistent because they refuse everyone else at the border. Uh, but nevertheless, it shows their hypocrisy of that, what they're involved in. And that's why it's really important we redouble our efforts in the final couple of weeks before the demonstration to make sure that we have the biggest turnout possible on March 19th. Um, just gonna say, that, um, I've got a delegation of over 22 from my union branch. I've got over 20 coming from my Northwest Black Members Committee, and I'm sure we can all do the same. But think about who we know and who should be on that demonstration with us. So solidarity to all of you. Solidarity will defeat racism. Let's stand together. Let's make sure March 19th is big as possible. Thank you.